Hello and welcome to my video all about how to do the reverse stockinette stitch. If you've been knitting for any time at all, you'll already know how to do the stockinette stitch, which is where you do alternating rows of knit stitch and purl stitches. So stockinette stitch is a row of knit stitches, which represents the front or the right side of the knitting, and then a row of purl stitches, which represents the back or the wrong side of the knitting. You then repeat those two rows to create stockinette stitch, which is probably the most popular stitch in knitting. The reverse stockinette is, funnily enough, the reverse of this pattern. I'm only going to put the pattern up here on the screen rather than do a demo, because I'm assuming you already know how to do knit and purl stitches. So for the first row, which represents the front or right side of the knitting, you would do purl stitches, and then for the second row, which would represent the back or the wrong side of the knitting, you would just do knit stitches. This may all seem very simple and obvious, and it is. However, the only slightly tricky bit about reverse stockinette is to know when to use it and also why. When I first learned about the existence of reverse stockinette, my first thought was, well, why don't you just knit stockinette? and then flip it over and that will become reverse stockinette. And that's in fact true. However, that never happens. You never get a project that's just reverse stockinette. Instead, you'll get a mix of stitches. As you can see, I've done a knitted swatch here to help with my demonstration. We're going to assume that this side is the front of the knitting. So this is the front or right side of the knitting. At the bottom, I've done a section of stockinette stitch. As you can see, it's got the recognisable chevron pattern at the front that's formed from the knit stitches. Then on the back, it's got the wavy pattern that's formed from the purl stitches. If you've ever knitted stockinette, which I assume you have, you'll know that it curls up at the edges. When looking at the chevron side of the stockinette stitch, you may notice that the edges seem to curl away from the front. And therefore, when looking at the wavy side of stockinette, you should see that the edges curl slightly towards you. This is just something to note, and I'm going to come back to it later. And then, above the stockinette stitch, I've done a section of reverse stockinette. So on the front, you can see that there's the wavy pattern, that's made by the purl stitches. And then on the back is the chevron pattern made with the knit stitches. And obviously you can now see that this is the reverse of the stockinette stitch below. One thing to note is how the front of the reverse stockinette looks a lot further forward and looks to stick out more than the front of the stockinette. And that highlights the main use of reverse stockinette which is to add depth to your knitting. And then above that, what I've done is I've mixed reverse stockinette with stockinette. So the two columns of stitches at the edges are made of stockinette stitch. So knit stitches on the right side and purl stitches on the wrong side. Whilst in the center, I've done reverse stockinette. So purl stitches at the front and knit stitches at the back. You may recognise this kind of pattern as being very much like ribbing, and you would be correct. If you've ever knitted ribbing, it might interest you to know that it's actually alternating stripes or columns of stockinette and reverse stockinette. And now we get on to the most important bit, which is to look at the relief of the knitting. If you've seen knitted ribbing, you'll know that it consists of ridges and valleys. From the front, the ridges are created from knit stitches and they sit up from the knitting and are more prominent, whilst the purl stitch valleys are more recessed and sit backwards in the knitting compared to the knit ridges. And that's what you can also see here. The stockinette columns are more prominent and stand out a lot, especially when compared to the recessed 
reverse stockinette section in the middle. This comes back to the point I made about the curling of stockinette stitch. The wavy side or the pearl side of stockinette seems to curl in on itself a little, whilst the knit side or chevron side sort of pushes itself outwards and therefore makes itself a little bit more prominent. And that's what helps to create the ridges and the valleys when you alternate stockinette and reverse stockinette. So how can we use this recessed area or valley? Well, I mentioned an example already where it's paired with stockinette stitch to create a stretchy ribbed fabric. In more advanced knitting patterns, you'll find that reverse stockinette is used as a background stitch in order to make a feature of a particular type of knitting. For instance, bobbles or cables. Now things like cables are 3D knitted features and are meant to stand out and having a reverse stockinette background makes them stand out even more. And that's what reverse stockinette is mainly used for as a background to something that you really want to pop out and stand out prominently from your knitting. So I hope this video has been useful to you and thank you very much for watching.